the first trying to remove the healing cap which is support the tissue area and then take it out gently now trying to put it back to the custom abutment in the patient's mouth and this is custom abutment is very specific design the tissue size wise and the top of that crown together the reason is we try in first that's therefore we did not cement yet but i have to put it back to the custom abutment with the screw down all the way just make sure the the frame contour cj Also, this abutment is pretty good size about the, the contouring for full crown top of that. It's just very essential to make it now to try in the restoration finer. And this one is the we staining stage just to make sure the adjacent teeth which is the fake restorations and then we create the hue stains from the body and gingiva it's not look like shade tab it looks like the something uh, more layer top of that I'm talking about the adjacent teeth so let's make sure the, before we cementing the, the final restoration created the enamel translucency looking compared to the adjacent T's. Here's another distal area, small little bit gray hue, which is created another translucency and then Gingiva area is a little bit more warmer, slightly. So actually, what uh, gingiva and the body is a little different. The aspect all the way inside here. So that one is the the our art. Really careful about this stage after we stain. A lot of people are asking. Is really careful to not to try not to touch my stain. Okay, just make sure the. The incisor area too. Then once we done, be more size. So luckily, uh, adjacent T is a fake restoration, so I don't have any dehydration problem. Then we created the T is like I said, so really careful to take it out the restorations from the patient's mouth. If I touch it, the facial, then I have to restain too. We keep adding about the gray hue, the incisor one third, and this stage is very imperative. Just make sure all the way, therefore, I did not put down all the way down. Yeah. Make sure this out and uh, just dry after that, and then put it into the oven. This is our cementation um, techniques, which is we've been using the top denter and um, this is clear translucency it depends on the adjacent T's you can use the more opaque color or different body colors you can available so after we sandblast it and then we cure it and we just put into the abutments a little bit so after I cement it is make sure the all access hole is right from the, the screw in and out okay so just add it here the facial i made it which is the composite cure from the idealist dentalist from the mexico that was really cool uh, materials so we put together a little bit more the cementation sorry we did not use the glove you know just put it down all the way down Yep, just make sure all the way in. Okay, cleaned up with a Q-tip or micro brush 
or Kleenex. <clears throat> Take it off to devices or cement. Okay, so before we cure it, just make sure it's all good. Nice, Kleenex. And then I now try in the patient's mouth like that. So it's pretty good. It's the matching. Depends on the uh, tissue pinching. And screw down all the way, which is screw retain. There was another illustrations how to make the fixed sim single implant cases which is all the time the difficult so we made so many times about the screw retain that's the the final restorations in the patient uh, mouth okay so all right doctors here so make sure the doctor will talk down